This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Netflix. Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best here, here with my review of the game's G155 mobile gaming environment. In this case, it has everything you need to be able to play your Xbox 360 or your PlayStation 3 while you're going to be on the road, maybe traveling this summer, or your parents maybe take you somewhere you don't really want to go, but you want to be able to have some fun and do some gaming uh, without needing to find a TV to hook up to, anything like that. This case would be able to satisfy your Call of Duty or Halo needs. But it's going to first start talking about the case starting from the outside in. Now, when you first pick up the case, you will notice that it is pretty light for what it does. So it not only fully protects your Xbox or your PlayStation 3 from any drops or any falls, but also, too, is, is again, it's very light to be able to carry around with you and travel with it for a long time without it getting too heavy. Now, at the top of the case, you will find a carrying handle, and also on the right and the left-hand side of the case, you will find two little latches that you need to flip up, and then it will unlock the case, and you'll be able to open it up and get to your game. Now, um, at the bottom of the case, you will find it does have two straps, and underneath those straps is a pad um, that has a um, Xbox 360 fat side and also an Xbox Xbox 360 Slim and also a PlayStation 3 Slim side and this is where you're going to place your, your game system on top of that mat depending on which one you have. Now do note this does not work with the fat PlayStation 3 so if you do have one of the older PlayStation 3s the system is really not going to work with it. Now this case also comes with two mesh carrying pouches which are used to be able to transport your controllers, your cables, your wires, anything you need to power your system you'll be able to fit in these two pouches because they kind of give a they kind of give a little bit. They kind of stretch out a little bit so you don't need to put any cores or anything like that in a separate bag. You'll be able to get everything in these two mesh pouches and they attached via Velcro on both the left and the right hand side of your system. All right, so now you're ready to get your game on. So now you just need to slide your Xbox or your PlayStation. In this case, I'm going to be using the Xbox 360 Slim underneath these two straps, tighten those straps down. Now that's going to be nice and secure within the case. Now you just need to hook up your cables and your wires. Um, so the system works over HDMI. It doesn't work with component cables. So uh, you hook up the HDMI cable right underneath uh, the screen itself and the HDMI port. And also too, you need to plug in your system itself, the power supply into an outlet on the wall. And also you need one more outlet because you need to plug in the power supply for the case itself uh, that powers the display. You need to plug that into the wall itself. So you need two outlets to be able to use the system while you're going to be traveling. Now at the bottom below the screen you will find some volume controls. you find the brightness controls and also the menu to get into a little bit more settings as far as adjusting the screen and talking about the screen. Now let's get, I think the screen is the biggest most important thing of any type of case like this. Any type of portable uh, traveling case for a game system because that, that's what makes the experience. I don't want a, a crappy screen. But as we take a look at this screen which is a 15.5 inch screen it's an LED screen and it'll be able to get you up to 720p HD and I have to say this thing is awesome this is the best display that I've seen in any type of traveling case um, as I mentioned before all the colors look bright and the reason why this screen is really good is because it is a nice form factor so it's not 1080p but since the screen is this small you don't really need 1080p um, and you're able to sit back a little bit since it is really good quality you don't have to be right up on the screen itself while you're going to be playing your game so you can see here, I'm just playing a couple games, and I sat down here and played Halo Reach. I played about five or six different multiplayer matchmaking games, and I had no problem at all. I wasn't squinting. I wasn't trying to see the enemy far away. Um, the screen has really, really good quality. You'll be able to see everything that's going on the screen. Now, as far as the viewing angles, you can't sit too far on the left or the right-hand side of the screen because it does get a little grayed out. But as far as you, I mean, it does have a decent viewing angle, though, so let me just do say that. But if you're going to be sitting in front of it, you get a couple of people playing the game, you're going to have no problem at all. Just the detail that this display really puts off. It's definitely worth the experience. And, I, and again, like I said before, this is going to make or break the experience of a mobile traveling gaming environment. And the screen does a really, really good job. And also, too, the speakers are pretty loud as well. Uh, I think by default, the speakers are at about 50%. And when I first launched it up, I had to turn it down. So you'll be able to fill up the room uh, with the game uh, volume. Now, also, too, I forgot to mention before, though, if you don't want to fill up the room with the game audio, uh, it does have dual headphone jacks at the bottom right below the screen. So two people will be able to plug in their headphones. So now you'll be the game in silence. So I just showed you everything. Thing that this case can offer for you this I mean this is truly a really good mobile environment um, starting with the screen is very nice screen um, and I played some of these type of cases before or use some of these type of systems where uh, you have maybe have like a screen that attaches on top of your your game system and stuff and, and most of the time those screens suck and that really ruins the experience of well, the screen is awesome also the setup just be able to securely fasten your um, your system inside the case using the straps the two mesh pouches to be able to carry all your cables and your controllers just work just fine um, and also to just it's, it, again it's very lightweight very easy to carry around so I was looking for some cons about this product some bad things about it but I really couldn't I mean honestly I really couldn't find anything that was bad with this product I think this is the perfect solution um, to be able to travel on the road and get your game on so you can pick up one of these cases for about $299 $300 so it is kind of up there um, but for the display itself it, I mean I can kind of see why this is priced a little bit higher maybe some a little bit higher than some of the other solutions out there uh, but this is it's the best one I've ever used and the best one that I've seen that gives you really good quality and also a really good experience all right guys but before we head out of here it's going to take one last look at our sponsor for this video and that is Netflix 
Netflix delivers movies directly to your home, saving you time and money. Instantly watch thousands of TV shows and movies streaming directly to your PC, Mac, or right to your TV via a Netflix-ready device like a PS3, Xbox 360, and Nintendo Wii console. Plus, get DVDs by mail in about one business day, and as a new member and a Soldier Knows Best viewer, you can get a free trial membership by going to netflix.com forward slash soldier and signing up now, and be sure to use this URL so they know that we sent you. Alright guys, so please let me know what you think about the review and also what you think about this product by leaving a comment down below. I'm liking this thing. I'm pretty sure somebody out there also has it as well. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you're going to be picking it up as well. But anyway guys, thanks for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace. What the what was that?